Hey guys, today I'm gonna react to TikTok math videos, some of which are craptastical. If you're wondering who I am, my name is Brooke. I'm a private SAT and ACT prep tutor. I've been coaching both exams for over a decade and a half. I've got a couple of online courses for the SAT and the ACT, all video-based, that you can check out at supertutortv.com. It's based on all my kind of private tutoring patterns of learning. So go check that out if you're prepping for your exams and you want some insights into those tests. Also subscribe to our mailing list, totally free. Supertutortv.com slash subscribe, cool. And find our math books on amazon.com for the ACT. And we have a TikTok channel where I promise you guys, I will do my very best not to feed you garbage. So if you wanna to subscribe to a TikTok channel where we will actually teach you real math, then you can subscribe to us there. Cool. Get ready for TikTok math roast. Okay, one times one is one. Now we're gonna do three times six is 18. Okay, now what, secret trick? Three plus six is nine. Oh, that was kind of fun. But if I do this with any two-digit number, I guarantee you it's not gonna work. Now, if your two-digit number always ends in one, maybe it will kind of work sometimes. Like if I do like 21 times 71, I get 1491. And I think this might work because it's basically just an expansion of multiplication. Because what do you do in multiplication? We're gonna do one times one is this, then I'm gonna do one times three here, right? And then this is six times one. So that's why you can add these together because it's one times three and six times one. So this works, but you've gotta have two ones here. So it is kind of limited. I think the problem, the why is this nobody talking about this? Because I don't actually know what you're talking about because you didn't tell me what the rule was. And some people might misapply that and that scares me a little bit, but. Math's big fan, sir, please one video for me. Math trick cube root. Oh yeah, this one's really crappy. Okay, so we got the cube root of 512 is five plus one plus two, which is eight. The cube root of 49, 13 is four plus nine plus three equals 12. And this guy is like thumbs up. He is like in 17 seconds, like showing you cube root magic. And now I'm going to show you cube root train wreck. Are you ready? Okay, let's take the cube root of um, let's say 27, two plus seven, is nine. Wait, the cube root of 27 is three. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> there you go. So here is why this stupid math trick doesn't work. And yes, it works for these three very random numbers, but then you're memorizing. I know that the cube root of 49, 13 is the sum of its parts which you're welcome to do. Thank you, TikTok. Okay, let's see what this girl has up her sleeve. She must be really good at math. Five squared is 25 plus eight is 33. Eight squared is eight times eight, which is 64. And she says, this is 3364. Okay, girl, like what? So if we square the five and then we add eight, so let's try this with another number. We're gonna see if this works. Never heard of this tip before. We'll see if this girl's math is good. Okay, so she's got 58 and she's gonna square the five. So let's try 47 squared. How's that? What, is, what in the world is she doing here? How is this a shortcut when I can't even understand what you're doing? That's another question. Okay, so we have five squared so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna to try to replicate this. So four squared is 16 plus seven. I'm gonna do what she did. And then I get 23. Okay, so now let's see what her next step is. Now she's doing 33. Now she's gonna do eight squared is 64. Okay. I like how she writes out that eight squared is eight times eight in case you didn't know that. It's a good tip. So here, seven squared is 49. So let's see. So now she does 3364. Okay, so let's see if this works. Because if what she said is true, then my answer should be 2349. So let's see, 47 squared. 47 times 47 is 2209 which is not 2349. So this tip 
is terrible. Not only because it doesn't work with any other number that I know of where it maybe only works with random numbers, but it's also so confusing and convoluted that I have trouble even remembering it even if it did work. But it's viral on TikTok and this girl is sharing her math knowledge. There is one tip that we had here, which is eight squared is eight times eight. That was good math. I recommend that tip. Cool. Oh yeah, the cube root ones. These are my favorites. Okay, so we've got three and four, 34. I'm pretty sure this does not work for a lot of numbers, Mr. Math Joe. Yeah, like almost any numbers. You can't just take the two numbers off the side and take the cube root and get the answer. This could result in lots of bad grades. Okay, we're done with this one. That was pretty silly. Japanese multiplication. I'm excited about this. I do not speak Japanese, but maybe I will learn how to speak Japanese multiplication. Three lines, two lines, one line. This is like kind of a cool pattern. It looks kind of like art. Oh, wow. Have you guys ever done this? I'm really not sure about this. 682. This is interesting. Three, one, two, three lines. One, one line. 22, two. Oh, so this is tens places. This is like an abacus. This is like tens places. And then over here, we have the ones places. And we have like something in the middle. So this is just like place values. That's kind of cool. I like this because it's pretty. But not sure if I'm ready to draw all of these lines out every time I want to do a problem. I could easily do 31 times 20, which would be 310, 620 plus 62, which would be 682. And I can kind of mental math that out, and I'm kind of okay with how I do it, but that was pretty. I like that Japanese math. Okay. Okay, this one, yeah. I have no idea what this girl is doing, but she has pretty colored pens. So if you want to make it on TikTok, Get yourself some awesome pens, because I think that's the secret to views and math awesomeness. Okay, so here she's doing two times one is two, and then two times three is six. So she does the first place, the last place, and then somehow she randomly just adds these together and it's six. I'm pretty sure this does not work all the time. And I'll give you some examples of where it doesn't. Let's try 44 times 15. 660. Okay, that does not end in, well, this is kind of hard to piece apart, isn't it? What if we did 11, 11 times 17? Let's try that, 187. Oh, that did work, the seven plus the one. I think the trouble here is that there's some sort of rule where these numbers have to create a single digit or something. I don't know. If I do 44 times 11, there's the 4 and the 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. So it works for like 11, but I think the trick is, is you have to have numbers that are so small that they multiply together to create numbers on the ends. I am getting so confused just trying to remember what the rule is, that I'm not sure I want to memorize it. Because, yeah, because once you get into basically where you start getting two-digit numbers, right? Like if I do 44 times 15, what happens is the 5 and the 4 become 20, and then this isn't going to work anymore. It's got to be single-digit answers with your products. And, like, how many numbers can product out to single-digit numbers? A fairly limited supply. So this is only going to work if you have multiplication and you have single-digit answers for this number times this number and this number times this number. And if that is true, and add to that, this happens to be a one, okay, then I guess this might work. But that's a lot of rules, people. Try this. Math shortcut trick. But she has pretty pens. Square root of 64. Oh, I love these. This is super craptastic. 10, and then we randomly subtract two to get eight. Okay, so here we have two plus five is 25. 
Math 2021 edition, and this is the mind blown emoji. By the way, your mind will be blown if you do math on TikTok. And now I'm gonna blow your mind even more because let's do 49, right? Four plus nine is 13. 13 minus two is 11. Square root of 49, it's not 11. Mind blown, everybody. I think that's all I've got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little bit of math comedy for you. Subscribe to our channel and subscribe to our TikTok. And I promise I won't feed you craptastic things. And maybe your mind will be blown, like the mind blown emoji. I will see you guys later. Thanks for joining us. Ciao for now.